Okay, we're getting ready to do the uh, cam cover now. I got the oil pans all up under there now. So it's all mounted. So these are the uh, cams we use here. These are uh, old red shift cams for, uh, oh, they're for a big 130 inch top fuel bike. So they work all right on my little 500 single. So these are. Uh, 625 lift is what they're rated at 282 duration is what they claim but it's actually 300 degrees duration at 50 and uh, with my rocker arm set up I'm running I'm running a 675 lift on these things this thing runs a 8300 rpm this one here's a 673 623 lobe here which is your bigger one the other one's a 625 so these are uh, pretty hot, so you can see they're pretty pretty big lobes. So it makes it come on real strong when you get the R's up. There's nothing under 6,000, and it starts running good about 6,500. And it runs all the way up to 83. And it loves being in the sevens. So you can now line up our uh, gear right here. These ones don't really matter because they're not really doing anything. I used to run an oil pump off of here. That's why they're even in there, but they just spin for, for nothing, so we'll leave them in. Plugs up the holes on the other side, if nothing else. Keep the shrapnel on the one side of the case a little bit. So what we do is line up our mark. Make sure our lifter's up all the way. Oh, and not being a dumb shit helps. Gotta remember to put the cam thrust plate in. That does make a difference if you remember to put that in. A minor thing. not want to cooperate. Okay, so everything's in there except for a tooth off. So and the one that's off is the one that matters. are so big they interfere with each other. I remember there was a reason why things didn't fit with shit. So we can get it out of the way. Slip it down one notch. Put it back in. Rotate it back to see where the marks are at. And of course we jump the tooth over here, it figures. Alright, that's easy to fix. Hey, all the lines are lined up. The important ones are the ones that matter though. So, that line there and that one there are the only two that really matter. That's the only two to work. Okay. Pull it back a little. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. 
my gasket's glued to my uh, cam cover, so I don't have to worry about doing anything to that. I'm going to put this back on here a little bit. That was a little stiff, so... Before I jam it in there, I gotta make sure I get the advanced mechanism up out of the way so it doesn't bind up on anything. There we go. Rotate until it goes on the end of the cam. And it slips right together pretty easy as you can see. Where's my screws at? Okay, there's our case bolt for holding this up. Here for the generator that we don't run. Set the block off plate over there. Okay, we got our screws here. They do matter where they go. Shortland goes there. Line these up by length is the easiest way to figure this out. So we got two shorter ones, so they go right there. Next short one goes there. Everything else is long. Now I converted this cam cover from an early one to a late one. The difference is the one hole there. Is off. And what the hell is going on there? For some reason that doesn't want to go in the hole. There it goes. Go and get them all started before you crank them down. Okay, let me go ahead and torque them down now. Okay, they're in. Now this ignition's locked out, it's fixed. So all you do is Tighten the screw up and you're done. That's good enough. You put the advanced plate back in where it belongs, which is marked. So I don't have to retime it. Makes it quicker when you're in the Clean out the dirt. It's a special racing pickups in here. Okay. 
pretty good right there. I got to set at 40 degrees, which is a little retarded for a normal bike. And all the stuff I put in there that I've been using lately. And I think I'll bump it up a little bit. I feel like burning the motor down a little bit more. Kick a little extra lead in it. half a line. That should be a good four or five degrees more. I'm running methanol in this and pretty much leave the nitro out for right now. But I got a little bit left to use up so I'll probably dump it in there and mix it in and get a five percent or ten percent mix when I make my second pass if it runs. Okay so that gives a little extra lead. Go ahead and put a cover on there. Okay. Get to hook up your uh, pickup. Doesn't run very good without your ignition hooked up. That's why you have quick disconnects and you haven't tightened that up yet either. It's nice to have all your case bolts tight. Okay, we're back to where we started for doing the top end now. So, minor uh, slowdown there. All that because of crank one turnover. See, normally it turns over like this real easy. That's what it wasn't doing. Okay, so I'm going to uh, work on the rest of this now. I'm going to go check out my piston here a little bit. But initially, you can see where you're at right now. See kind of clearance as I run. It's uh, only a little loose. Yes. Doesn't sound too loose, does it? Run 8,000 RPM for a couple miles straight, you better have it like that or it'll have problems. Found that out after about five years. So, anyway, that's how you set them up for a full raise. Okay, I'm gonna go see what my cylinder looks like and move on from there.